in this lecture we will discuss the program evolution and review technique in general calling as part method the network methods discussed so far may be termed as deterministic since estimated activity times are assumed to be known with certainty so in the previous lectures we assumed the time duration for activity is exactly known with certainty so it is called as the deterministic in nature it is difficult to obtain a reliable time estimate due to the changing technology since time values are subjected to chance of variations so most of the times time duration for activity is not a fixed duration it will be changes for such cases where the activities are non deterministic in nature part was developed so part was developed to handle the projects where the time duration for each activity is not known with certainty but is a random variable that is characterized by beta distribution to estimate the parameters such as mean and variance of the beta distribution three time estimates for each activity are required to calculate its expected completion time so let's see the what are the three time estimates these three time estimates are the optimistic time estimate most likely time estimate pessimistic time estimate so let's have to see the one by one first we have to discuss the optimistic time estimate optimistic time estimate is the smallest time taken to complete the activity if everything goes well there is a very little chance that an activity can be completed in a time less than optimistic time it is denoted by the t not or small a so here i have to remember the the symbols most of the times we are denoted by the t not or a next one is the most likely time estimate most likely time estimate refers to the estimate of the normal time normal time of the activity would take this assumes normal delays it is the mode of the probability distribution it is denoted by the tm or m and last one is the pessimistic time estimate it is the longest time that an activity would take if everything goes wrong it is denoted by tp or b these three time values are shown in the figure from these three time estimates we have to calculate the expected time for activity so it is given by the weighted average of the three time estimates so te so expected time of the activity equal to the so t not plus 4tm plus tp divided by 6 so here b dot distribution with weighted of 1 for the t not 4 for the tm and 1 for the tp so here we are giving the more weightage for the most likely time estimates so here te so expected time for the activity is the average of the this optimistic time most likely time and the pessimistic time but here we are giving the more weightage for the most likely time so it is the te equal to t not plus 4tm plus tp divided by 6 and the variance of the activity is that is sigma square equal to tp minus t not divided by 6 whole square and the expected length denoted by the te so te is the expected length so length of the duration of the project that is the te of the entire the project is the length of the critical path so it is the summation of the te of 
all the activities along the critical path. So, here time duration is the T e equal to the, it is a summation of the time duration for the all the critical activities. Let us consider T e 1 plus T e 2 like that. So, the main objective of the, this analysis through the part is to find the completion date for a particular event with the specified date. Let us consider TES. So, that is given by the so probability of Z less than or equal to D, where this D is the due date minus expected date of completion divided by the root of project variance. So, here it is the due date is the T s and the expected date is the T e that is the duration time duration of a project we are determined by the critical path divided by the sigma. So, D is given by the T s minus T e divided by sigma. Here Z is the stands for the standard normal variable. So, thank you.